Six months between albums ain't a lot for some rappers, but for Khan, it's an eternity. Go subscribe, yeah, subscribe. Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to Brews and Reviews. It's knowledge. Today, I'm reviewing Khan's Mission Hills. He is the hardest working artist in hip hop today. Yeah, I said artist not rapper because he expands his sound so much on this one and I feel like he really put in his work into this waiting a full six months between Sunset Crest Drive and this one probably the longest he's had between albums in a really long time so he was probably really refining the tracks and perfecting them during that time and it shows he's working with frequent collaborator dim joints who's done some of my favorite con albums and songs like blissful awareness one of the many so i'm excited about reviewing this let's get into this project fallen trees i gotta admit at first and only for a few seconds, I was like, what is this style? But then I immediately really dug it because he's singing with some skill, almost like a Childish Gambino style with a perfect beat, live sounding jazz, drums and vocal hums in the background, but he doesn't neglect the rhymes and he states his business ethic with a double entendre. He says, how you tell a with this much drive that it's a long road. Way out there, then immediately into a much harder beat and style, hitting kicks on this one. And I like how he's not just going all in, trying to impress us with the fast raps. He shows much more restraint on this song and really throughout the album. And don't get me wrong, he does the fast shit so well, but after we've seen that, it's good for him to show different styles like he's doing on this track. Flatline, damn, hitting the high notes on this one. Maybe a little auto-tune though in a creative way. I really dig the chorus on this. And I can't say this is anything like anything that he's done before. After his first verse, there's a breakdown that slows the beat and has all kinds of effects and musical elements on it. Really experimental beat to zone out to. Timing, really good beat produced by Khan himself. It matches the atmospheric sounds Dim Joints has provided so far. Khan states that he puts in the time. True, he puts in the work and actually having taken his time with this album, it's even more true, and he puts an emphasis on that message with these lines. He says, you cooked your shit in the microwave, mine's out the oven, it's better. I did this shit with intentions of lasting for centuries, you win this bitch for a second. UFW means unfuckwittable. Rapper's been saying that for years. I think the first time I heard that was on Jamal's album, Last Chance, No Breaks, an underrated Death Squad classic, not talked about enough these days. Give that a listen if you haven't heard it. And Khan here now puts his fast raps on display over a flute-led rhythm. Patience. There really seems to be a message running throughout this album of putting in time and work and doing things slowly but the right way. And I think it all played into his mindset. Six months between albums ain't a lot for some rappers, but for Khan, it's an eternity, showing that he had to have patience to really marinate it like that. And the chorus says it all. He says, this shit don't phase me. Maybe I'm crazy. I'm going to keep waiting. The one thing I uh, never lack is patience. No matter how shit go, don't take no days off. No, I got too much patience. I don't see getting close. Then they fall the fuck off because they never had patience. No doubt it's symbolic when the beat almost sounds like it's in reverse and slowed down at the end. Free fall, some good piano work from Dim Joints here, and that's just the beginning, the drums and bass line putting in work too, and that singing from Khan remains phenomenal. Greatness, one of the tracks he dropped before the album, and I like the style of the long rollout, but keeping us engaged with several heaters along the way. A little drunken beat from Khan himself on this one. Incredible flow lacing his own production while at the same time slanging some lyrical dope. He says, one of these days you're gonna have to ask yourself, could you survive in the jungle without the help? 
That's when the shit hits the fan, the heat will intensify. The pressure was never simplified. Then realize that we are in some wicked times. You either keep your faith or you could lose your mind. And this greatness track is great. I'm going to drink to this track. I am sipping on a dogfish head sequench ale from the great brewery in Milton, Delaware. Delaware is close to Maryland where Con is from. So I'm breaking out this. It's a close enough connection. I'm enjoying the sour taste of this a little bit different style from the usual ambers darks and ipas that i drink just like con is experimenting with a different style on this album let's get back to it i see is one of the singles that dropped before the release of this a little different type of production from dim joints some interesting things going on with the percussion with some rapid drum rolls hyper hi-hats claps and almost industrial clanking sounds all under some nice keys that are a little reminiscent of the way they did the keys on Kendrick's Humble. Khan rhymes in familiar territory about how he's different from everyone else out there who's doing the same thing and he's putting in work and following his plan. Now, all of that is definitely true and has been for a long time, but Khan has made so many songs about it that I'd like to expand his subject matter a little bit further. I'd like for him to do that. Yeah, he's a positive, driven artist with good lyrical content that is nothing like the mainstream, but some of that is becoming a bit cliche in his music. And yeah, I got to judge him a little more harshly than others because the expectations for him are so high. So it's not a huge knock on him and where his place is in hip hop but him as the high expectations that we have for this artist is that lyrics like this are getting a little stale because we've heard it so much. Captured. Now that I said what I said on the last track, he's proven me wrong already. Coming with some original and meaningful lyrics, talking about living on a screen and being addicted to social media and how that's poison and everyone is selling you something or selling you as a product. And he says, they want your information once they get you trapped and there's no way you making it out. That's how they play on your insecurities, the like or follow you addicted to clout. It's a form of mental warfare that you don't fear because it feel good. Draining your serotonin if they told you to stop, you wouldn't, you still would. True statements, y'all. Social media is addictive. Gotta take it in very small doses. Too Much, another single released before the album dropped, probably the most catchy chorus on the entire project and he utilizes several different flows throughout the verses. Matter of fact, I think this was the first song that dropped on the project and listening to this track, it really made me wish for a grip and con collaboration. Grip did his thing last year, and I think that their styles would mesh so well together. Would have been a great feature for this joint. Counting me out, Dim Joints getting super jazzy on the beat with some nice horns and crisp snares, and con always sound great over the jazzy beats. The six month hiatus here really shows in the music. Khan switched up his style and has some well fleshed out songs, some great singing on this, though it's mostly in the aesthetic of each track and the song style that are the difference. His lyrical substance for the most part remains very similar to what we've heard in the past, which again is great because he's coming with positive messages and aesthetic of working hard. But maybe on the next joint, maybe let's get some storytelling tracks. Maybe let's get something conceptual. Maybe let's get some deep analysis on the current state of the world, something of that nature. But who am I to say? I mean, Khan should do him. He's doing a great job at it. And it all shows on this project. I'm giving this an eight out of a 12 pack. Thank you for watching my review of Khan's Mission Hills. If you like this, go ahead and hit like now and hit me up in the comments. If you didn't like it, also let me know why in the comments. I drop hip hop and hops related content consistently. So subscribe to my channel now. And until I see you next time, keep buzzing. Hey man, just subscribe. But if he's on his channel saying that somebody album is better than mine, unsubscribe. <laughs> no, your your album's the best, man. There you go. Subscribe. Yeah. Subscribe. <laughs>